Uh, Byron Lee and the Dragoneers. I did some stuff with him too. Okay. What, what, uh, reggae stuff or soca stuff? No, no, it was reggae, but we, it was just like, um, like a drug and a day show, you know, we uh-huh. would go on the beach, you know, to race, and, um, he would be on stage on the beach, you know, um, and a lot of artists would come up and sing, and if you, if you're, if you're better than the other artists, they'll give you like a couple of cases of, um, Red you know, <laughs> dragon stouts and all that. Oh, all right, so you're singing for your supper in those days. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I used to be around. I, I used to be around other artists like um, uh, um, Lord Laro. That's a name I haven't heard Smith. in a long time. Yeah, Ernie yeah. Smith and all those people. I used to be around. Um, yeah, he's a very good friend of mine. I, I used to play with people like those. So okay. I play a lot of instruments only. Yes, I was just about to ask you what instruments don't you play? Um, can I, say that? I play drums, synthesizer. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Yeah. I can't say I haven't made any more instruments yet, but I play a lot of instruments, mm-hmm. and, and I write my own stuff. I uh, I compose and I arrange songs too. Okay. You know, like bass lines and all that, and horn sections. I do a lot of arrangement like that. If my, if I want the horn to come into my music, I while I'm in the studio, I say this is what I want to hear, and I hum it. You know, and yeah. they blow along. Okay. I'm playing a track in the background here: Wingless Angels on Mount Zion. Does this one ring a bell to you? Yeah, this is this is me. I am the Rolling Stone, Steve Richard. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's listen. This particular track is about uh, nine and a half, nine to ten minutes long. Is this a jam? Yeah, this is a jam we did in his house. Uh, our recording from the album was done in his house in Ocho Rios. He has a house over there in Ocho Rios. Okay. Inside the Wingless Angels uh, Deluxe uh, box set, what would we find in there? Is that your box set? That that that's Keith Richards' stuff. You know, he um, he took the stuff of him and then he um he had his own website. You know, where you see clips of him. I used to hear like a you know songs about like Mount Guy and I, you know, and a couple other cuts from the album. Okay. 
Uh, also, I noticed uh, Keith Richards and Justin Hines and Wingless Angels are uh, doing a yeah, thing together. Yeah, Justin Hines used to be in the group called the Wingless Angels. Okay. Let's have a quick, let's have a quick listen to, that, to, to this one, yeah? Uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about this. Keith Richards, Justin Hines, uh, Wingless Angels. Oh, what a joy. Here we go now. Rhythm 365, uh, 27 minutes away from 2 o'clock. Special guest all the way from Long Island, USA, is the one uh, Wingless Angel, better known to us as Black Skull. Like one, like one, like one, bridging the time, he's clear a time, when each and every month should understand, time for us to live in unity, we all know that it will bring prosperity, oh what a joy. And a comfort over the time, and a comfort to live and be stand like one, like one, like one, like one. Bridge in the time, he's clear a time, and each and every one. Understand. Time for us to live in unity. We all know that it will bring prosperity. Oh, what a joy! Oh, what a joy! And a comfort to live and Well, I tell you something, Black Skull, this is something I wasn't aware of, that uh, Keith Richards uh, has done anything like this, even let alone mixed up with anything um, reggae. So this is, this is all new to me as well, my goodness. How did, how did this come around? Um, he came to Jamaica in the late 70s. Um, I met him at the Hilton Hotel mm -hmm. while, when I was doing a show there. I didn't know who he was, but by just looking at his feature, he came to the bar and um, I said, um, your face don't look strange to me. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he was smiling and, and I said, are you, are you from the group called Rolling Stones? And, and he laughed, you know, so we started to chat and, you know, mm -hmm. I said, well, can I buy you a drink, you know, and he, he shake his head and say yes, yeah. so, you know, I ordered him a drink and we started to talk. And he says, the way you dress, you I know you're, a, you're an artist or something. Mm -hmm. Where he invited me over to his, uh, where he was staying at a guest house in Mommy Bay. And, and that's, how, that's how we hit it up. We just started to, you know, collaborate, you know, as two musicians. And um, we started jamming his house, you know. We had we set up like bongo drums, mm -hmm. bongo drums, you know. And um, we would jam every night, you know, and writing songs and doing all kind of stuff. And, and, um, I think he wrote a song called Goat Head Soup while we were jamming. Really? Day. Really? It made a big hit for him, too. But, well, we didn't play on that track, you know, he just wrote it and, um, it was nice. Mm -hmm. But one of the time we had a problem with uh, Keith. Keith was, um, came from uh, our show in London and came home and, um, he was crawling around on his knees, you know, and I, I got, I got kind of concerned because it was late in the night, mm -hmm. and um, I said to him, "What's the matter with you?" And uh, I, I see like, you know, when somebody had too much of one thing, I don't know what he was taking, but yeah. when you see someone crawling around on their knees and their hands, it's very serious. So yeah. I went and um, made a sweet glass of lemonade and gave to him to drink. And uh, within an hour time, I was in the 
in my room, you know, because I used to stay at his house. Yeah. And um, I saw this figure standing up in front of the doorway, and, and, and the figure said to me, um, he, he used to call me Tony, because I have, people call me Tony like you, I have so many names, you know, names. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, um, Tony, thank you so much for, um, for saving my life. Mm-hmm. So he was, he was one, on one of his trips at that time then? Yeah, I think he was going to OD. Uh, they, they, they have an old term for calling it OD. Okay. Yes, yes. So yeah. really and truly, you do have a, a big history there with um, Keith Richards. Yeah, and I used to raise his kids then too. Okay, well there you go. I used to raise Marlon, and he has a daughter that got uh, arrested in New York a few months ago uh-huh. for marijuana. Um, I, I taught her to walk she, when she was a little girl, you know. Um, so I, I spent a lot of time around Keith and uh, people like Joe Cocker and uh, Dan Aykroy, a whole bunch of celebrities used to come, uh, Bianca Jagger. Uh, Mick Jagger used to keep away from us because uh, he was a little bit strange. I, I never really liked it. The way he program, you know. Well, if it's but Keith is, no, yeah, it's Keith is it used to be around us, and he come to the village. We would hang out in the bars and drink, and the villagers loved Keith Richards because he was a very kind of person too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he would give things to people. Okay, but, it's, it's but funny you Jagger said. would just to keep away from us. <laughs> well, it's funny you say about uh, Mick Jagger. Now, uh, I, I believe Mick Jagger and my elder brother in London, they used to spar around for a while uh, before he became, before they came famous, you know. So there you go. Um, well, boy, it seems like the history you have, uh, not just with uh, reggae acts, but uh, with celebrities uh, from around the world, puts you in the category all by yourself. Uh, we're listening to uh, Wingless Angel uh, ring out Mount Zion Bell. I play congas and bongas on that track too. Yeah. And vocals. All right. Let's listen. was that recorded? Uh, early 80s. Early 80s. So uh, what have you been working on in the way of new material um, now? Tony, I have a library of songs, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you... What are, what are you actually what are you actually putting out now as as a new new material uh, like an album or what I just well I have this uh, I have an album named The Struggle Continues mm-hmm. uh, uh, Mr. King is playing that album right now okay up there I just sent him another album named The Messiah is Coming so you can um, you can you know check him out and collaborate with him and I know he's gonna uh, you can get a few tracks from him from, okay. what, from okay. what is going on. Oh, we got some beautiful tracks on, on the 
the struggle continues. I think it's going to be a hit album. I hope it is. Because I like to, I like to write hits. Mm -hmm. So you have 11 hit songs on that, um, the struggle continues. Leave my yard, gone abroad, dump them overboard, and police are come, any of those, and it is done. Is any of those tracks on your uh, rhythm page? Yes, I think so. Okay, yeah. let, let's take a look at your rhythm. Yeah, take a look and you'll find some, uh, some good stuff on it. Okay. Right, uh, I'm actually playing uh, Write My Name. Uh, you know that one? Yes, yes, yeah. That's uh, a beautiful who, track. Who, who's on this one with you? Um, this is me, Justin Hines, um, Bongo Lapsi, Keith Richards. And um, Maureen, and the girl you hear in the background, she's on that track too. Okay. All of them is from the village of Steertown, you know, that's, that's, where we, we, where, that's where we live. Okay. Say uh, Keith Richards is on this one. I, I'm really surprised. Yeah, he played he play lead guitar. I, I'm really surprised to know that he had uh, played on so many reggae tracks. Seriously. Seriously. That must be a very uh, well kept secret because um, I've not I've not heard it. I know they did uh, Rolling Stones did some work with. Um, um, you see, Peter Tosh um, um, some time ago, but uh, you know, this is uh, kind of strange to to hear all these songs with uh, Keith Richards on it. Uh, real, a real. Lot of people, a lot of people didn't know that I exist, Tony. They hear my sound roughly every day, but they were wondering who is this person. Uh, if I never come to New York from out of the jungle in Jamaica and come here, a lot of people who recognize who I am at this moment, you know, and I've been. I've been doing music for over 60 years, man. Mm. <laughs> well, it seems like finally, finally, the whole world is going to uh, get to know of you and know about you and uh, your music. Now, I've got your uh, page up on uh, Rhythm365. You say you have some of those tracks uh, from the forthcoming album? Yeah. Okay, you've got 11 tracks. Which one of those tracks uh, will it be now? What's the name of the track? Um... You can play the last track and um, let me hear that track. The, uh, I think it's the end of the rainbow. Okay, end of the rainbow. Uh, do I have that here? The last track? Nope. I don't have that. Uh, I don't have it. Uh, track 11 is um, uh, uh, Black Slavery Days, Black Slavery Days, uh, Third World, Third World, track 2. All right, you can play Third World and... And this is off of the forthcoming album, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, uh, let's see if we can uh, shuffle things around here. <laughs> original track and we move like this at uh, 13 minutes away from 2 o'clock. Special guest, Long Island, USA, the one and only Black Skull, better known as Wingless Angel.
things here today is black scholar Original style. Here I come, here I come, I come. Well, I can surely assure you, uh, Black Skull, that I am learning a few things today, uh, especially about yourself and the people you've collaborated with in, in the past. It's uh, real, real, real good to hear uh, the story behind uh, your music. Um, anything uh, else that uh, you, you, you whoa, whoa, let's just let's just cut this like that. Anything else that you 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 feel uh, we should know a little bit about Black Skull? And the uh, most important uh, thing is, I want to know why they call you the Wingless Angel. When um, the Wingless Angel, um, the name was given to us by Keith Richards when we formed the group, the Wingless Angel. Pretty and just flew away um, because they died right after we uh, completed the album. Mm -hmm. Justin I passed away, um, Bungo Lapsi passed away, and um, and Vin, Rasta Vin passed away also. There was a fourth person uh, with a dear friend of mine. He used to just hang out at the house with us. Uh, he passed away. So uh, we lost uh, quite a few members. I'm the only. Uh, I'm the only member so far, except for the girl that you heard in the track, mm -hmm. Maureen, that is still alive. You okay. know. Uh, do you ever uh, do you ever get together with her and uh, do anything that she's still saying? No, she's in Jamaica. Um, I'm I'm here in the in the United States. Okay. So I'm just writing a lot of stuff now with a friend of mine called um, Tustani. He's a very very upcoming um, artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he's next door me over here in Long Island, so we we go in the studio a lot and do a lot of recording. I mean, I I just like uh, get so allergic to recording music. I also play with the Bad Brains. I don't know if you heard that group, the mm, Bad Brains. No, I haven't. No, I do. It's a punk rock group that tour all over the world. They just came back from Europe. I used to play with them too. Uh, but right now I'm writing a whole bunch of stuff. I have a lot of songs that you know mm -hmm. I've been writing, but um. What I want you to do for me, Tony, is um, when we when you finish here, I want you to send me an address so I can uh, I can post you up uh, the Messiah album so you can um, okay you we'll, can play that up. I will do that for you. We'll do um, that. In the meantime, I would, I'm asking you to see if you can find some um, some um, promoters who can um, who is interested in sponsor any sponsors to sponsor me up to do some shows because as I say, I'm here by myself in a new in in, in New York. Um, I haven't got the right exposure that I should have gotten yeah. the mm -hmm. years ago. So I'm ready to tour and prove to the world that the sound that you're hearing is the sound of St. Dan. I create that sound. Okay. Uh, if you hear Bernie Spears singing certain type of music that sound like my music, those those sounds came from the original Black Skull, a.k.a. Wingless Angel. I create that sound. Okay. Well, I will have a chat with a, a promoter I know that uh, does a lot of show at the uh, Hooter Nanny. Uh, here in London, and uh, 
At the moment, he's got Chuck Fender and uh, someone else. They recently had uh, uh, Bob Andy, uh, uh, Willie Williams, uh, uh, also uh, who was there recently as well, uh, Junior Mervyn. So I will have a chat with him, and uh, I will pass your information on to him and uh, see okay. if there's something he, he can do uh, uh, for you. Uh, let's just move to a track, uh, Roll River Jordan. Tell me a little yes. bit about that. Um, Roll River Jordan is uh, taken from... Uh, you ever heard about Bunga Herman and those groups that used to play a lot of um, the spiritual Rasta music in, in those days? It's uh, The name is um, familiar. Yeah, they used to have a, a Rasta group named... Uh, with Bunga Herman was the lead... Um, artists in this group. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to call, we used to play Rasta music with congas and bongas. Um, the album that you hear uh, Keith Richard had produced with us yeah. was in the making for the for, say the past 25 years. We were like, every little time we get, we would, you know, build a track and put it on it. Mm -hmm. um, these songs are taken from the encyclopedia that you see on the, on the website there. So, we don't own those songs. We just sing these songs like in the old days, you know, we used to sing Roll River Jordan Roll, you know, write yeah. my name and, and the list goes on, you know, it was mm -hmm. just Rasta business. Okay. You know. So that's where the whole concept of that album came from. I also am a I'm a nutritionist. I I do herbal medicine too. Okay, you have anything from a back? Yeah, I got a lot of stuff here. I, 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 right now, I'm one of the best holistic herbalists in New York right now because um, all the stuff was handed down to me from my grandparents. So I put a lot of bush and herbs and things together to, for any ailment from AIDS, Alzheimer's, multiple sclerosis, pan cancer, colon cancer, you name it. All right, then I, I better come look for you, Dr. Blackstone. <laughs> <laughs> when, I, when I come to England, I'll bring something for you. Okay, you have the remedy. That we all need. <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay, look at me. Yeah, this is why I keep like this, you know, for a man of my age. Okay. You know, I don't take no young man to look like this, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's listen to this Roll River Jordan roll. Okay, Tony. <laughs> here on Rhythm 365 talking to the man live all the way from uh, Long Island USA and what a history uh, this man has 
definitely, definitely would be nice to have you in the studio uh, if you do visit the UK so we can uh, chat more and uh, get into your life a little bit more because it's uh, very, very interesting, I'm telling you. Uh, you've done so many things and for so long and as you say, uh, some of what you're telling me is really, really news to me, um, Black Skull. I, I, you know, be quite honest, some of it I didn't know and uh, uh, to actually be talking to you and uh, some of these music I can remember uh, but not knowing anything about it and uh, to, hear, to, to be able to talk to you uh, and you telling us all about this, it's uh, indeed a pleasure, indeed. Let's take a listen to this one, Human Rights. to you and uh, being perfectly honest here is this a track that you finish actually finish because uh, uh, it sounds like you know you could do it a little bit more work on it the lyrics are good uh, but just from what I'm hearing uh, it's, it, did you complete this one yeah it's completed um, um, yes uh, I have a video of it on YouTube okay And so, uh, it, it, I have it on the Struggle Continues album also. Okay, uh, sorry, I have to be honest there, I, I missed the last bit of that, uh, about Tapazuki on the phone there, uh, telling me he, he is he is outside. But I tell you what I'm going to do, uh, uh, I'm just going to, uh, I just have to nip outside to, uh, to find him, because I'm here alone, all right? Um, so what I'm going to do, I did come across... Um, uh, the the, uh, the wing, inside the wingless angel deluxe box set, yeah. And uh, just want to have a listen to it because I've been looking at the uh, the, the video of it. And uh, is this is this you? This is uh, uh, something for the wingless angels. He said Keith Richards uh, put together. Are you hearing me, uh, Black Skull? Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing you. Yeah, this I'm uh, hearing you. Okay. yeah, this inside the wingless angel deluxe box set. Okay. Do you know about that? 
You, you, you're laughing, smiling. Do you know about it? <laughs> yes, I, I know everything that you're saying, but um, <laughs> I want you to... Yeah, I know. I, I'm going to play it, all right? I'm going to play yeah, it. Go ahead. Let me, let me listen. Yeah, I, I don't know what it says. A box set that was recently released. Okay. And I thought we'd take a look and see exactly what's inside. So as you look here, it's a uh, two-piece box made of a light wood. It's got the Wingless Angels logo burnt in there so you can feel it as you run your hand across it. And if you take off the top, right inside we've got this hemp trifold. It's got the uh, line of Judah, Wingless Angels logo right on the front. And if we open this up, you can take a look. Inside of here, move from left to right. First right here we open this little section up, and inside the first thing you see, we have the uh, lithograph of the sketch of the Wingless Angels that Keith Richards produced. It feels like you have the original right here. It's got the same texture and everything. Um, also, in this left pocket, we have the Lion Judah Wingless Angels sticker. And then, as we move to the middle, got first thing a second Wingless Angel sticker uh, it's green with yellow writing and then inside of this pocket we also have the DVD uh, nice and sleek feels really good uh, the short film about the Wingless Angels uh, it's got some interview footage from Keith some footage from Keith with the band. Uh, really nice little keepsake right there. It's about 30 minutes long. And then we also have this, which is really my favorite part. It's a uh, about a 30-page booklet. As you can see, it's really quite thick. It's filled with interviews, photos, stories, everything that really gives you the sense of what was going on down in Jamaica. So as you take a look kind of through that, looking through, I'm trying to show you as best I can. There's lots of images, everything you could ask for. And again, it's quite thick, so it's good little reading material. And then moving to the right pocket here, we open this up, and we get to what really it's all about which is Volume 1 and Volume 2 of the music. So you've got two CDs here. Pop in the CD player and listen to. Um, also get a digital download with your purchase. So you can listen to it either way. But it's got Wingless Angels 1, Volume 1, and Volume 2 right here for you. And then you put that in there. Put everything back. And that's pretty much the box set. It's got everything you need. Three panels. And this really nice looking trifold that keeps it all together. And that's the box set. All right, well, there you go. That's the box set. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> right, I got Tapazuki in the building. Oh, boy, that was him running around. So, uh, have you ever uh, met Tapazuki, Wingless Angel? That may be like years ago, a long time. a long time, Tony, years and years. Uh -huh. you know, I, got, I run into all these artists, man, Tony Rebel, a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Shaggy, okay. and, and the list goes on. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Right, I'm out of breath. <laughs> I need some of your tonic uh, to, get, uh, to, get, to get me get me get me uh, get me back up on my feet. Yeah, you need some of my Nooni juice. I work with a little fruit named Nooni. Uh -huh. And uh, and lots of other herbs, you know, King of the Forest, Medina, uh -huh. you know, Verbino and the list goes on. All right. Okay, is that a TV I can hear in the background there? Yes. <laughs> All right, Black Slaver Day, uh, a.k.a. Wingless Angel. This one is 
uh, from your page on the Rhythm 365. Okay, sir. I'm going to wait for yeah, this is me and the band Ray. This is the punk rock band you're selling us about? Yes, sir. I play you were saying you play the keyboard on this one? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, it's a little organ. It's going to a small time organ with a piece of truck flying around in the middle. the hour of 2 o'clock here in London, uh, 12 minutes after 9 the USA Eastern Standard Time. Well, definitely, definitely the man Black Skull has, has a legend. I tell you, he is indeed a legend. So many things I've learned about him today and the people he's uh, cut. Uh, co collaborated with over the years and uh, uh, the tracks that he has done and uh, well I tell you it would be nice if he was here in London doing a show as I said I will have a chat with a promoter who does that who's a nanny and uh, see if we can get you over here for a special even if it's a special one-off show because I'm sure a lot of fans uh, would have loved would love to see you here in London yeah I appreciate that Tony um, I know you're doing a lot of work for reggae music and I appreciate you know the input that you're doing you know so and a lot of people tune into your station well, we we try, we try. I mean, it's something I enjoy uh, doing for years. Um, I really enjoy uh, meeting the artists, uh, promoting the music, um, because it's what it's it's all about. As they say, if you have the tool, I've got the tool to do the work, and uh, without uh, the input from the artist, I won't be able to um, to do anything. So. My job is always to uh, promote the artists and uh, uh, make them uh, superstars because without them, uh, <laughs> we wouldn't have any music to play. Um, so tell me, uh, Topazuki, yeah, Topazuki's in the house with me right now. Uh, have you heard of the Wingless Angel out of uh, St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica, many, many years ago? Uh, not really. <laughs> not really. Not really. <laughs> Topazuki says, no. Not really, you must you must be a boy when uh, Black Angel uh, kicked off his career many many years ago. <laughs> Is that microphone on? Uh, turn it on. There you go. Right there you go. It's on now. Okay, it must be. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, uh, Wingless Angel, I want to thank you very much indeed uh, for enlightening me in on uh, uh, and letting me in on your life and uh, telling me all about yourself. There, there are so many things that uh, I didn't know. And uh, when I get this album sent to me, uh, we will definitely be talking about the album again because it'd be nice to have that new material in front of me. Yeah? But it's uh, more, more of all, um, uh, it, it was very nice to hear the stuff 
that you did with Keith Richards because, uh, trust me, I didn't even know Keith Richards liked reggae at all. I think that must yeah. have been a well-kept secret to the rest of the world. Did you know Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones uh, used to be in Jamaica playing reggae? No, never heard of that. There you go, you see. You know, he, he loved it. That's why he spent so much time around us, you know. And um, I spent a lot of time with um, with Peter Touch also. He's a good dear friend of mine before mm-hmm. he passed, you know. Um, I, I also used to be around Jack Ruby. You know, when Spear just started out, um, I used to drive them to the studio in them days. You know, so it's a long time. Okay. You know, I used to be around Duke Reed. Um, and then it, it's a long story, you know. Uh, but I'm glad that I'm still around writing songs and I'm still entertaining. I do a couple of shows here in New York, mm-hmm. you know. So I keep busy, you know. I, I did notice uh, a, a clip of you on uh, YouTube somewhere. Yeah, right, exactly. Uh, so because on YouTube, I have about three different videos there. Um, no love, no sympathy. You're gonna love that when you go to YouTube. Hope you folks enjoy yourself. Nice to have you with us. Yes. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Tony. That's the video. I'm watching it right now. <laughs> I'm all over the place, man. Angel Black Skull doing it live and uh, just uh, tell us um, where we could uh, find uh, your material apart from here on the Rhythm 365 uh, we can find you on uh, Facebook uh, Wingless can we find you on Facebook Um, yes, you can find me on Facebook. Yes, yes, I got a good page on Facebook. And you can go to YouTube, too. I'm on YouTube. Yeah. And what about uh, uh, YouTube? We can find you on YouTube as well. Yes, yes, Tony, you can find me on YouTube. All right. Okay, sir. Right. I'm going to end uh, our little chat here as part one. And uh, I'm hoping that when I get the album from you, we can kick up part two. That that way I'll have a little bit more understanding of your music. But like I say, there is so much of your music that, and so much things about you that I didn't know. And I'm very privileged to have learned it uh, today here on Rhythm 365. So, uh, Wingless Angel Black Skull, I want to thank you very, very much indeed. And I'm going to end with the uh, Moan Zion uh, with the one Keith Richards, all right? I want to thank you too, Tony, for the time, and, you know, it's just a pleasure being here, you know, on Rhythm365.com, 